here, and that means motorcycle owners all over Metro Detroit are revving their engines, getting ready to hit the road. But one of the more popular bikes in Detroit has what some are calling a design flaw that could put other drivers on the road at risk. Action News investigator Heather Catalo has the exclusive story. I baby my motorcycle. I don't abuse my bike. Both Keith Rutledge and Oren Josie say the second gears on their 2007 Suzuki Boulevard M109R bikes failed, <laughs> nearly causing dangerous accidents. I thought I was actually going to die. Why are they so worried? Take a listen. Every time. That's the sound of Rutledge's motorcycle unexpectedly going into neutral. When it revs like that, I'm not just doing that. That's when it pops out of gear. Rutledge is a Detroit police officer who recently broke his leg on the job. Since he can't ride right now, he asked his longtime friend Josie to demonstrate on Rutledge's bike what happens when the M109R comes out of second gear. Rutledge says the problem started when he was riding his M109R down Gratiot in September of 2009. And that's when a uh, truck almost ran and hit me from behind. The 18-wheeler was able to swerve, but Rutledge says not being able to accelerate almost cost him his life. You're on a busy road, and yes. you basically can't get your bike to go. Right. I can't get my bike to go, and plus I was in the middle lane, so... I didn't, you know, I had traffic on both sides of me, so it was, that's why it was, it kind of freaked me out. Josie says he also almost got hit several times. It scared me, <laughs> and I don't scare real easy. Both bikers say Suzuki won't pay for the costly repair, which runs between $2,500 and $3,000. What's more, Rutledge says Suzuki tried to blame him for the gear failure. It's not a rider issue. It's a, it's a Suzuki issue. One Suzuki dealer who looked at Rutledge's motorcycle told Action News that Rutledge has not been riding his bike excessively hard, and they can't explain the failure. Frustrated, Rutledge posted information about the second gear failure in an online forum for other M109R riders. At around 2,000 miles, I lost second gear. Action News counted posts from at least 46 other bikers from around the world who said the same thing happened to them. Every rider can't just be making a second gear go bad. We shouldn't have to wait to someone get hurt or killed in order to fix this situation that we should have fixed in the first place. The Action News investigators also searched the online complaints that have come into the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. We counted at least eight official complaints that mirror Rutledge's claims about the second gear failure, and there were eight other complaints to NHTSA regarding transmission problems on the Boulevard M109R for model years 2006 through 2000. The employees here at Detroit Choppers in East Point would not talk to us on camera, but they did tell me this has been a huge problem for Suzuki, and it's been a huge problem for a long time. So we tracked down a skilled mechanic who works on Suzuki's just outside Indianapolis who would talk to us on camera via Skype. Matt Guthrie owns MAG Motorcycles. It's definitely worldwide. I have customers in Venezuela, Ecuador, Panama and uh, all over the United States, and they all have the same issues. Guthrie says he and other bike experts agree there's a design flaw in the transmission of the M109R, and he thinks a recall would be a good idea. I am a Suzuki fan, a uh, diehard at that, uh, but they are notorious for not backing up their product when it comes to warranty issues. In fact, the Better Business Bureau gives American Suzuki an F rating, in part because several of the 39 customer complaints registered with the BBB are not resolved. American Suzuki customer service manager Brad Wright told the Action News investigators that they are not seeing any safety issues with the M109R. Wright admitted that they have received a few complaints from customers, but he refused to tell us how many. Wright says if the rider can show that there is a defect in the gear, the failure may be covered under the one-year warranty. And this is how my bike is supposed to be riding. Oren Josie grudgingly shelled out his own cash to fix his bike. I could have done a lot more with $2,700 than fixing a bike that I didn't break. As for Keith Rutledge, he isn't willing to give up his fight to get Suzuki to pay for the repair or issue a recall. Until then, the only place his bike will be rolling is into the garage. 
A spokesman from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration tells us that so far, their investigators are not considering this a safety concern, and they say second gear problems can happen with any motorcycle. But NHTSA is monitoring this situation with Suzuki closely, and they are urging anyone who has experienced a potential safety problem to report it to NHTSA right away. We have information about how to do that on our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Heather Catalo, Channel 7 Action News.